to life right now in the way that batteries work. But because of that, portable battery packs have become very popular. Uh, it, they're a great way to keep your devices topped up as you're traveling, as you're just out for the day, etc. And they're great. They're just generally limited by the fact that they don't have that much capacity and that anything that you want to charge has to be done so via a USB port. But what if one of those had a full-blown power outlet on it? Heck, what if it had two? This is the ChargeTech Plug Portable AC Outlet Battery Pack, and it's probably like the elite of battery packs. Now firstly, this one is 54,000 milliamps. Now that's enough to charge your iPhone XS almost 20 times. And unlike other portable chargers, it supports up to 250 watt devices. So that's laptops, televisions, speakers, drones, whatever. It has two fast charge USB ports, one USB-C port, and two worldwide AC outlets that'll accept any charger that you can put into them. You simply have to choose between the 110 volt US version or the 220 volt international version when you buy it. The plug portable AC power bank is not small, of course, but compared to the alternative of potentially using a small generator for the same things you'd be charging, it's a lot more portable of a solution, in that case at least, for sure. Now this thing, as with all things, doesn't come without some cons. There are two big ones for me that you need to consider. Now first, you cannot take the 54,000 milliamp model on flights. The limit in the US and internationally is 100 watt hours. So you figure this out by dividing the milliamps by 1,000 and multiplying that by the output voltage. Now, I brought it with me to Germany for EFA last year from the US not realizing this limit and no one questioned it. But upon a flight from Berlin to Frankfurt within Germany, it was seized. And that's when I learned about the battery limit the hard way. Now the captain of that flight took a look at the device and told me that I could actually bring it on the plane with me so long as I kept it in eyesight and kept an eye on it the entire flight. And if anything happened to it, make sure to tell somebody right away. But I wouldn't necessarily rely on the kindness of pilots. So they also make a travel model that they say is approved to fly on international flights that is only 42,000 milliamps and is $30 cheaper. Now that's still plenty of battery and since I fly a lot, it's probably the model I'd actually go for instead, depending on your needs. Which brings us to the other issue of this particular rechargeable power supply, the price. The 54,000 milliamp model called the Plug Pro is $299 and the Plug Travel is $269, so neither is terribly cheap. They do have an older model though that is a lot smaller and only has one outlet and it's not universal, but it's only 27,000 milliamps. But I did manage to find it on Amazon for about $200 if you don't need as much battery and want something a little cheaper and more portable, but still as a proper outlet, which you can click at the link below. Personally, I'd probably go for the 47,000 milliamp version as to me, the whole point is that I want as much battery as I can get, but still be able to fly with it as I fly constantly for work. Now, also, if you're plugging in outlet devices, they're generally more power hungry anyway, so the more milliamps you can get at your disposal, the better. Now, right, guys, a quick rundown of the best portable power outlet that I could find. Uh, I've been using it for quite a while now. As I said, I had it since IFA, and this is much later than that. Uh, so I do particularly like both of those models. They fit in my bags. They're a little heavy, obviously, but for that much power, I mean, you can sit all day outside. Um, it's just, you bring it camping. I don't know, it, it's pretty cool if you need that much power, obviously. Otherwise, you can go for the smaller ones. Uh, but there, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If there's other alternatives that you guys like, leave those in the comments below as well. I'm sure other people would like to check those out, as would I. Otherwise, if you like this video, please thumbs up or share it. It's greatly appreciated. Also, check out the rest of the channel. If you like what you see there, please subscribe and ding the bell next to the word subscribe so you can notify when I do new videos. Also, I'm restarting my tech blog, theunlocker.com. Check out the link below or just head to that site with the E missing and the word unlocker to check out uh, tech news, other tips and tricks, other things that just don't make it entirely here to the YouTube channel for video. As always though, regardless, thanks for watching.